Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, we're talking about the new normal and why it can be a good thing. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. Do you remember 2019? Back before the coronavirus? Back when we thought corona was a beer? Well, back then, we were all talking about how things could be better and the things that were wrong and the things that we needed to improve. That's what we did. And now we all wish we had that normal back. I call it the good old days syndrome, only almost in real time. The good old days syndrome to me is when people hearken back to a time far in the past when things were better. And we look back at those things and say, man, it was better when, and wasn't it great when, and all those things. But when we put that on a new light, we say, well, these things are better, these things are better, and these things are better. I call it the good old day syndrome. We're all living with the good old day syndrome right now, assuming that we want to get back to a place that we didn't think was perfect before. It wasn't perfect. Let me share with you a couple of facts. Fact. The future will always be different. Always. Now, I'll grant you that it might be more different because of the coronavirus, the COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. I grant you that this is a seismic shift. I understand that. But does that mean that it all has to be bad? Fact. We can influence our future. Now, we can't control it. We can't dial back the clock. We can't say, imagine there was no coronavirus. I'm not saying you can do that, but you can influence your future. So this video is really about how can we create a new, better normal in the future, rather than just looking back to the halcyon days of 2019 when we thought things were so good, at least when we look back in our rose-colored glasses. So what can we do to create a new, better future normal? I've got five ideas. Here's the first. Think of this as an opportunity. When we think about this situation, like there's a bunch of things that none of us really like about this. I don't like the fact that I may not get to watch college football. I don't like the fact that my daughter is gonna take her senior year of college, some of her classes being online. We could all make a long list of those things. But when we go out two or three years and we think back to now and some of the things that this situation will have created, like perhaps as an example, a faster, more expedited way to bring new drugs, needed drugs to the market. There will be a hundred of those things too. So the challenge for us is to think about this as an opportunity to create the future we want. Will we lament some changes? Sure, but there's an opportunity here if we look for it. Number two, do it together. This is not just a mental exercise for yourself. This is something you can do as a family. This is something that you can do as a team or as an organization. What do we want the future to look like? Many of you are working from home and saying, this isn't so bad, I'd kind of like it. Guess what? The chances for you to do that in the future are probably far higher than they were pre-coronavirus. Number three, continue to survey the external factors. Like the, the earth is shifting around us, things are gonna to continue to change. Don't just say, well, this is how I want it to be. We've gotta to continue to look at the way things are and how things are going so that we can continue to assess what our opportunity or opportunities might be. Next, find your wins. Already we know not everything's gonna be a win, but guess what? Maybe you really found how much you like homemade sourdough bread. Or maybe you've decided how much relaxation you get from doing a jigsaw puzzle. Find your wins. Maybe you've found that you're far better connected to your children than you were before. Is that a win? Do you want to give that back up? Find your wins. And lastly, be flexible. The first fact I said was that the future will always be different. So we've got to come into our life with a sense of adaptability and flexibility, trying to hold on to the best of things that might be changing, finding ways to adapt to those, and recognizing that some other things might not ever quite be the same. But they never were either. The new normal, I don't really love the phrase. 
But if we think about the new normal as a better normal, I can get behind that phrase. Let me summarize with today's tweet. Quit thinking about the new normal as a bad thing and start creating the future that you want. You know, five days a week, I've committed myself and our team to being positive and proactive throughout all of these changes. And one of the ways that I am committed to that is through our daily email. Each day, five days a week, each weekday, I send out a short email with inspiration, ideas, thoughts, and challenges to help you be more effective and for you to remain positive and proactive. I hope that you will join us there. All the information to do that is right here on this page. I hope you'll do that and I hope you'll be back next week for another Remarkable TV and Remarkable Leadership Podcast episode.